What's good Legends? Was here coming back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you guys are having a great day. I want to talk about Mirage incoming buff and what I would do if I was a dev. But before we get to this video, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I encourage you guys to drop a like and subscribe. It's about 94% of you guys watch my channel, but don't subscribe. It's free. And the sub helps out the channel. And if you like, comment and watch the video all the way through. Now let's get into this video. Lead game designer Carlos Pineda, Pineda Bread, Pineapple, Pina Colada, Okay guys, I'm only going to say this once. I feel you people out there talking about Mirage buff, and there's one thing I'm going to say. It's coming. Now we don't know when this update coming, but we can only hope it will come with the Season 5 update. I mean, me personally, I've been recently playing with Mirage, and I have some ideas that they could do to make him a useful legend out in the arena. If you're new to Apex Legends, you don't know about Mirage's trash, trash passive, Encore, where a decoy drops when he gets knocked in the cloak for 5 seconds. I'm going to say this one more time. This passive is trash and completely useless. Most people don't even fall for it. I mean, five seconds isn't enough to get out of a, to squirm your way to safety. Now, in Apex Legends, 10 seconds is a lifetime. And I honestly think that it should be 10 seconds to give the enemy a harder time to find you, in my opinion, because if they get third party, fourth party, fifth party, 18th party, 20th party, they give you time to get away. But you know, if it's just a 1v1, boom, and you're not, he's just gonna finish you and you're gonna be done. So I think that passive's kind of, it need to be worked. Maybe you can just like, when you knock him, he'll send a decoy out there, just run straight at you or some crap. I think that'll work. You know. Not often, but it's better than that trash. His tactical psych out, send out a decoy to confuse the enemy. Now Mirage tactical isn't that bad, but I do believe that it's played out and people don't fall for it no more like they once did in season one. I feel like a solution for this would be to, it's simple. Give him two decoys instead of one. That way he can send one in each direction, left and right, and he can go straight up the middle, whichever way the person who's using Mirage at that time sees fit. You know, it, in my opinion, it'll completely confuse the dog mess out of me if somebody shot two decoys, one left, one right, boom, and I'll, I'll be confused. Like, I know a lot of people want decoys to be able to aim down sight, take zip lines, go through portals, all this crazy stuff, but I honestly think that would be OP if that was the case. I'm not sure what else they can do to his tactical besides give him two decoys. I mean, what do you guys want to see? Like, honestly, like down in the comment section below, let me know what you guys want them to change to his decoys. Cause me personally, I don't think it should go through portals or or zip lines or blooms, none of that. Too OP. His ultimate vanishing act. Mirage deploys a team of decoys that don't do nothing. Like seriously, they don't do anything. Now, if they don't want to have the dummies move around after being deployed, I suggest they silence Mirage's footsteps once he go invisible. Because I mean, a lot of people just sound horrid. I mean, come on, it's 2020. Who really played? Who really play a, a FPS without any headphones? You know. Also, in his ultimate, you have to press Y to uncloak. I feel like you should automatically uncloak once you raise your weapon, but you can't shoot for like a second, so it doesn't give the person a competitive advantage. Because if a Mirage pushing a team, boom, he cloaks and he aims at you and he can automatically shoot as soon as he uncloaked. Yeah, I think that'll be a disadvantage. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we we don't know. Like we don't know when we'll get this buff. But hopefully this buff comes in season five. Cause Mirage, you need some love, big dog. They don't they don't love Mirage out here in these streets. He's literally the worst legend in the game. The worst. Octane gets picked more than him. Lifeline gets picked more than him. Lifeline gets picked more than him and they drop Lifeline 2.0, aka Gibby. So that says a lot. Mirage brings nothing to the team. Revenant gets picked more than him now that they buff Revenant. So look, <laughs> I don't know what... I hope some of this can help respawn get in the right direction to um getting a buff for Mirage because I want to see Mirage get played more. A lot of people don't really play him, so it's kind of sad for the most lovable guy in the Outlands, you know. Also, Pathfinder got his own, he's, he's getting his own special cover edition of Apex Legends. I mean, my boy is a sick pirate, you know. Arrgh, you me? So uh, yeah, here are some screenshots of my man Pathfinder. Uh, if you're a Pathfinder main, let me know down in the comment section below because I can't wait to get this physical copy of Apex Legends with my main man Pathfinder on the skin. What do you think should be done to buff Mirage? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Apex Legends content. And I'll see you guys on the next one.